Hey guys, how's it going? Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload payloads to your Raspberry Pi Pico rubber ducky. So first, you should all have a Raspberry Pi Pico um, that you have turned into a bad USB or rubber ducky. Um, and I just have mine in a 3D printed case. So if you don't have one of these bad USBs um, from a Raspberry Pi Pico and you want to make one um, or you have a Raspberry Pi Pico and you want to make one check out my other video where I explain how to do this and I will link that video in the description alright so let's go ahead and plug this in alright once we got it plugged in we should be able to go to our file explorer go to our PC and see our circuit putty okay from here the file that we're gonna want to be editing is this payload.dd so how we're gonna edit that file is we're gonna go to notepad plus plus and we're gonna edit it we can see inside of it right now there's nothing um, so when you plug this in nothing will happen um, but if you do want something to happen you will put your payload inside of this location so again, it's inside of your circuit putty, and it's just right here, payload.dd. Click on it. Edit with Notepad++, or if you don't have that, you can just edit it with Notepad. Hey, one last thing I wanted to show you guys was a really good resource for pre-written ducky scripts um, so you don't have to do anything they're already written you just upload them to your payloads file um, and they have a bunch of cool things like Wi-Fi passwords Wi-Fi grab so on and so forth so definitely check this out and uh, try some things out and learn some new things so I shouldn't have to tell you this but don't execute payloads on any computers that you don't own and don't try and hack any networks that you don't have authorization to do so too um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.